Are you looking for a platform to increase your email marketing? With taggings, automations, and landing pages, you can not only create new leads, but also manage your current leads and users if you're running a platform or you're just a digital agency. Today's product showcase is Vbout, an all-in-one platform where you can build landing pages, manage your leads, and so much more. So without further ado, let's dive into Vbout and let me show you the platform. We are now inside the platform of Vbout, where we have our sample dashboard, as you can see here. We can build the dashboard to exactly how we want it to be. Over here, you can see that we can add new widgets. So we really only show what's important for me and not for everyone else in the platform. You can see we have a getting started list over here. So we can easily get through Vbout and really learn the application and use it in the best possible way. For this sample dashboard, we have the getting started. We have some contact information, how our landing pages are performing, the automations I have recently set up, and our leads funnel down here if we do set that up. So the dashboard you really customize to your need to really look like you want it to and you need it to. Over here in the menu, we have our email section here. This is where we set up campaigns. You can see we have email templates and a file manager up here. In the email templates, they have added a sample email template. Often you will just use the same because your emails needs to have the same feel and look. But just to show you for the sake of this video, I will create a new template. And they have recently just built an entire new builder where we can drag and drop the different elements to build out our email exactly as we saw it from in charge. So in the builder here, you can see that we can basically drag and drop these different elements as we would like them to be. But here you build out your email template that you can use to send out emails, whether it's a newsletter or it's a specific type of email to a specific audience. Over here we have templates, pre-designed blocks where we can add a header intro, call to actions and a lot more different elements. And you basically just click and then you drag the element that you want. So here I just dragged in something about Valentine and this is how easy it is to build out your email. When you're done, we just press save and exit we now have our template ready. Going back to the campaigns here, I'll just show you the sample campaign. Here we can set up a lot of different elements. So we can choose whether it should be an A-B campaign, so we test different types of emails, if it should be just a regular campaign, how the process should be, in, if it should be a normal sending or it should be a chunk sending. Really depends on your need and what you want. Then we can add some subject lines, a pre-header, of course the standard elements, and when we are pretty satisfied, we can go to the next step where it is that we choose our list we want to send this campaign to. I only have one list now, so I'll choose that. And then we can see the design of the template. If we do want to edit it, we can do that here. We can also edit its text version. And we can also see how it looks in the inbox. Here you can see we get a lot of different options. I'll just choose Apple Mail and then send request. Then you can see here how it looks within Apple Mail 14. And we can change between desktop, mobile, and web. And this is a great way to really make sure that your email looks great on all different types of mail templates, mail campaigns, and mail software, of course. Now, when we're satisfied with this, I will press next. And we're now in our summary where it is that we need to confirm that everything is correct. And if there are elements missing or stuff you will change, you can always press the edit button and then you will edit it right away. And then when you are satisfied, you just press send now and your campaign will now be sent out. It is very simple. The next element in the menu is automations. Here it gets very interesting because automations is not only elements that will save you time, but it will also create a personalized experience for your users, your subscribers and your visitors. So in this sample automation in here, just to show you how an automation is set up, it is like we have seen it at InCharge and an active campaign. We have what's called triggers and what's called actions. So a trigger is something that is triggering this entire automation and action is what needs to happen with this user or this subscriber as soon as the trigger is done. Here you can see that as soon as a person has joined the sample list, we need to wait one minute and then we need to send out an email. This is a very simple welcome email you can do. So you can say every time they sign up for a newsletter or a specific ebook, 
then after a minute or so, then you send the ebook to them or you send a welcome message, something like, thank you for signing up for the newsletter. You can expect to receive two emails per week or one per week or whatever your program is looking like. But here you can really save time so you don't have to manually send out emails or manually make sure that all ebooks are sent out correctly. It is very simple to set up. You can see over here, we have some triggers for whether they open the email, if they click the link. These two are very valuable because you can say that if they opened the email but didn't click the link, then you can send a follow-up email saying, we can see you opened the email but you didn't click. Why is that? You can still get the offer here if it was an offer you send out. And again, for the user here, we have the joint where it is that they join a specific list as you can see also in the automation here. Then we have reach goal where it is that they need to reach a certain goal, then they will get a certain email. Then we have a custom event here. And then we have some different other elements also here. In the actions is where, when it is we see more integrations within Vbout, this actions list will really build out. But here we can send emails, send text messages, we can add them to another list, we can give them a browser push notification, and a lot more as you can see here. And it is as easy as just dragging and dropping over here. And then of course you need to make the connection between the different elements to make sure that it actually happened. And when you then click on the element, then you can change the different settings within the element. Here you can see that I want to remove them from the list. Of course this doesn't make sense, but it's just to show you. So here you can see that it will join the list, we'll send an email, and then we will remove it from the list again. This could be if it was just a temporary list that we needed to see if they had received the email or not. Then they have a social element, and this is not something we necessarily see in other types of email marketing. I haven't seen it in active campaign or in InCharge. But here, and as I'm gonna talk about a little bit later, we will also see Instagram later. But here we can connect our profiles from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest and also Instagram to schedule our posting. I would say that I have a bit mixed feelings about this because Vbout is about email marketing and of course it is great to have extra functionality, but I'm always on the point where it is that I rather want that they focus on creating the best email marketing platform that they possibly can instead of adding a lot of functionality that feels like it's becoming an all-in-one tool. I would rather see this social media module in another tool. It's fair enough that they also build that tool, but really narrow in and just build the best email marketing tool that you possibly can. And then what you can do is that you can push out information, posts on your different types of social media profiles for people to stay up to date. So now it's not only emails, it's also text messages and it is social posting. Just to show you fast, of course, you can also get an overview of all of your subscribers or your contacts here, what list they're attached to and what information you have on them. And then you can see activities, which is kind of their journey they have been through on your email marketing platform. It would be great if I could do like I do an in charge where I could integrate Vbout with my website so I could see what they did on my website before they signed up for the newsletter. That is a very great functionality within InCharge. Now one exciting element here is landing pages and that's because landing pages is a great tool to gather leads for your company. And here you can easily build out a landing page even with pop-ups to gather leads. So let's say that you want to gather leads for a certain email listing. Then you can fast create a landing page add a pop-up and then offer an ebook for them to enter their email. And when it is, you can do it within Vbout and you can do it so fast, you can test out so many different types of landing pages of your target group to really narrow in and see what works best. Maybe pop-ups doesn't work for your target group, then go with inline forms. And if inline forms doesn't work, then maybe pop-ups is working. But here you can see one landing page within Vbout. I'm now going in to the landing page and here we have some page settings. Let's not take a look at that now. But here we can choose either to design the entire landing page from scratch, that will of course take time, or we can choose a template. In the template here you can see they have a lot of great templates. I will take this one right here and I'll just drag it in just as we saw before in the email templates that we were building. And now I have an entire landing page. All I need to do is that I need to change the logo, I need to change the text, the image here, and then of course the form over here, if I want to make it more simple, maybe I just want the email because it's for a newsletter, or I just want the name and email, 
then I just go in and delete the other fields that I do not need. But it is really great to see how simple it is to work with landing pages within Vbout. I'm satisfied with this one for now, so I'll just press save and confirm. And now we can choose to either share it on social media. So let's say that I had integrated my LinkedIn profile or my Instagram profile. I could then directly share the landing page on my social media. But I'll just for now go back to landing pages and then close it here. And if we want to see our landing page, we have it right here. Now the last module within Vbout is Pipeline Manager. In here, you can create a task board for your company or if of course you're just an individual. This is very simple and this is again a little bit back to that you can have a task management tool. And here they're trying to build it in a little bit into Vbout, but we really need to be careful about this because this requires time to maintain and develop if they get requests of extra elements they want because this task tool is very simple. I can see that we can add a task board name, we can add colors to the different states, and of course, what the completed should be. So that is very simple. I'll just create a board for you to see how it will look like. So I've now created the board, and you can see I'm adding a task here. And for each task, there are some different elements. There is who is the assignee, what state is this task in, what board is it on, what queue is it in, the, if there is a deadline on it, what the duration is, and so on. And I can also add context to this specific task. Of course, this is great if you want to just keep everything within one tool. Then you can use Vbout to run your task and you can use Vbout to share on social media. But using a tool for these elements, if I take ClickUp, for instance, for the task management, and I take Radar for my social media presence, then I'll just get so much more extensive functionality that I can use to really hire up my presence on the social media and of course running my task in a more sufficient way. So it is great to see that they have it. Whether it's useful or not is up to you. Moving on to the pricing structure of Vbout, you can get started completely free with a 14-day trial. And it is so important that you take this 14 days trial to really test out the product because you can really customize your plan after especially your need. Because you can customize the modules you want to pay for and the amount of email you send out. So with this customization, it is so important that you are 100% sure that you have taken the right choice before it is that you start paying for this product. Something that I've really seen in the industry of email marketing tools is that it is so different from tool to tool how they price themselves. So it is so difficult to really compare them on the pricing. So really go with the tool that is intuitive and easy to use for you. Now moving on to the competitors to Vbout. It is InCharge, which I've already reviewed, and then it is Active Campaign. InCharge does not have the landing page module which Vbout has, but if we look away from that, I would say that InCharge design definitely beats Vbout's design. It is so easy to see that Vbout, their biggest focus is not on the design. I'm not saying the design is terrible. I'm just saying that when you look at InCharge and compare it to Vbout, I do like the design more in InCharge. However, the functionality, if we really deep dive into it, then via InCharge and Active Campaign, because they do have more integrations, you can do a lot more. Whereas Vbout doesn't have those integrations yet. So when you do your automations, as you just saw in the walkthrough, it is very limited about your triggers and your actions within the tool. So this is definitely a place they need to work on. Now moving on to the future of Vbout, they have a great roadmap as you can see here. They have focused a lot on integrations. That is a high, high focus for them. And that is so great to see because the more integrations we see within an email marketing tool, the more useful it becomes to us. So what we'll see in the near future is integrations to CMR systems and to insight systems so we can really utilize all of the data. Furthermore, they're also working on an integration to Instagram so we can auto schedule all of our posts. They're also working on an RSS feed integration, which means that every time that your RSS feed is updated in a certain way, then Vbout will automatically shoot out an email for you. It can be that every time you create an article on your WordPress website, then Vbout needs to tell everyone about it. 
and then this can be done completely automatic when it is that this feature has been released. The last element that I noticed which was intriguing to me is that they're working on a email tool that will help you send out the emails at the right time. So let's say that you start out sending out emails at different times. What Vbout will do is that they will measure the openings and the click trackings within the emails and based on all of that data tell you for your target group when is the best time to send out this email. It can also be that the email needs to be sent in the time zone of the receiver. There's a lot of options in here, so it's really interesting to see how they are going to implement this feature. Now, I want to share three use cases with you. The first use case being a SaaS company. So if you have a platform, let's say a project management tool, the way that you can use Vbout is especially to hire the engagement of your users to really use your software. It can be for them to start creating projects if it is a project management tool. It can be that they need to work more with tasks or you want to highlight especially focus on a certain module within your tool. It can also be that you have built an entire new module and you want to focus on that. And what is so interesting within Vbout is that you can differentiate your different users into categories. So if you build a module that's not necessarily for all users, you can just highlight it for some users and then really create some value for them. Another use case is for email marketeers. Usually what they do is that they live of their newsletter and creating leads. Via Vbout, they can easily create landing pages very fast and then they can test out their ideas. They can build a landing page, send a ton of traffic and then see if they create the leads that they do need. And when they have the leads within Vbout, then they can start to process them and work with them and see if they can convert them into whatever they need to convert them to. Let's say that you're a digital marketing bureau and you have a lot of leads, then you can really use Vbout to process all of these leads to maybe become your customers. You can of course use Vbout to send different types of tips and tricks to all of your visitors and all of your newsletter subscribers. And you can also then divide them into different categories after how many months they have been part of your newsletter and based on that and how many times they click in your emails and so on then you will know approximately how close this lead is to become an actual customer because you can use the lead scoring system. Moving on to the pros and cons of Vbout starting with the pros. Their landing page module is extensive and their email automations works great whereas for the cons the design is outdated. The pricing structure has too many elements for me and they're missing a lot of integrations for their tool to really be helpful. And they're missing actions for us to really utilize the automations. Using Vbout, you can easily send out emails, whether you're a SaaS company, a digital marketing, or even just a freelancer or an email marketeer. The options within Vbout day by day increases, and it's great to see that they keep improving the tool. And with all of the integrations coming in near future, Vbout would really be an interesting tool to invest in. So if you're looking for a tool that doesn't cost as much as the competitors and you can wait for the features, then Vbout is definitely for you. Overall, I will give Vbout three and a half stars. I do need to see more integrations and a better design for them to score higher. But yeah, that is my review of Vbout. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to Vbout or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.